Hello, and thank you for joining me for the Sage Intact Prepaid Expense Amortization Overview. My name is Linda Pinion, and I'll be your host today. Before we move into the solution presentation, let's re quickly review our agenda. We'll start out by talking about some of the challenges of managing prepaid, and then we'll talk a little bit about what you're going to see in the solution. We'll finish up today by looking at some key takeaways. So the first thing that we know about prepaid is they're part of a tactical process that companies go through every month. And anytime we look at those types of activities, the first thing that comes to mind is the time that we are spending to make those activities happen. So if you are an organization or company that has prepaid and you are managing these manually through a spreadsheet and then creating journal entries to make that happen, a couple things are probably beginning to surface. One is it's difficult to manage in a spreadsheet environment to make sure that everything is getting recorded properly and that your journal entries are getting made accurately and in a timely manner. And more specifically, that these expenses are being posted in the correct period. And at the end of the day, it, all of this really affects the monthly close time. So whether these get done in a timely manner or they get done in a timely manner but they're incorrect, that's going to cost you time. So the, the big challenge here is making sure that we are automating this process and that we are creating efficiencies for you. So today, what I'm going to share with you is the dashboard visibility. This is something that while you may have visibility in your spreadsheet, what a spreadsheet always lacks is that drillable capability. So when we look at the dashboard and we look at the information that's there, we have typically several ways to drill into the data. And that gives us everything that we need directly from that dashboard. So we'll look at the dashboard that we've set up for prepaids. We'll also look at that drill down to that expense schedule. And keep in mind as we're going through here today that this is an integrated solution. So yes, it's integrated into General Ledger, but it really starts either at accounts payable or purchasing. So let's go ahead and take a look at the solution and learn a little bit more about how Sage Intact processes the prepaid expenses. So this is my dashboard. I've set up a, a dashboard here with my prepaid schedules on it. And as I mentioned, there's usually more than one hyperlink of ways that you can get into the into the data. So um, before I go into this area, let me just show you a little bit of the setup and then we'll come back, we'll drill into one of these transactions. So if we look at our prepaid area, um, what we'll see is that there is a little bit of setup. So you're gonna be able to set up your classes and you'll be able to set up your schedules and your schedule entries. So if we come back up here to classes, just to give you an example, here are the classes that I have set up. I've got a quarterly insurance premium, which is you know, something typical that you would maybe want to enter as a prepaid. I've got an annual insurance premium, and then I've got a software license. So those are the three expense classes that I have. And then I also have some expense schedules. So when I take a look at my expense schedules, you can see here are the ones that have been generated. And again, you've got the ability to drill into this information. So uh, any of, anything in blue here. It's going to take me to uh, that vendor transaction, but it's also going to show me the expense schedule that is associated 
with that particular vendor. And then it also gives me the dates of when the amortization starts, um, whether or not the schedule has been generated, whether it's been completed, and then the class that it has been tagged to. So let's come back to our dashboard here and let's take a look at one of our entries. So we're gonna look at this prepaid here. This is a, a prepaid for some insurance. And when we take a look at it, we'll see that this is for $24,000. So this is an insurance premium, looks to be from State Farm. So an insurance premium from State Farm. We've got it tagged to a specific entity and location. We've got it tagged to our department. So we are absolutely using our dimensions here. And we've also pointed this to go into our general journal. And we've identified the credit and the debit accounts that we want SageNTAC to use when it creates the journal entry. We've also got the information about what this schedule looks like, that it is a monthly schedule. It's being, um, it's being amortized by the straight line method for the number of periods, and in this case, it's 12. What we also have is a hyperlink to the AP bill. So when we look at the AP bill, here is the bill from State Farm, $24,000. And when we look at this line down here, we can see that it has been coded or posted to the 1310 account. When we also look underneath the line here, we can see that this has been tagged or associated into a specific prepaid expense class and to a specific expense schedule. So once this entry, this AP bill has been posted, that entry then is what creates that schedule and it comes back to uh, looking at that schedule and knowing that uh, it is a schedule that is going to be for $2,000. So this is a $24,000 invoice, and we're gonna look at that uh, from uh, a $2,000 entry every month for 12 months. So again, having that information right here on the dashboard, drilling into it, I can see the $2,000, I can see where the entry is gonna be posted, I can see all the information from this expense schedule entry. Now, the other thing that uh, is important to note is that all of those entries for the schedule are gonna be created and Obviously, you know, when you get down to the end of it, you're going to see a report like this. It's going to give you all that information right on your dashboard. This is a prepaid schedules report across uh, the different schedules. This is also a prepaid reconciliation report. So this is a report that's going to show you with the drill down to the schedule exactly what has been posted. So now we can come in and we can look at uh, that information and see that schedule entry. So we know that there's a $10,000 entry, we can see the account and all the information about it. So keeping in mind that this information is happening automatically, so no longer do you need to record that information in a spreadsheet, then turn around at the end of the month and make those journal entries. We will make those journal entries for you based on your setup, based on creating that schedule. They'll post automatically and it will speed up your end of month close. So let's come back and look at a few of our takeaways. So one of the things that automating prepaid expenses does is it increases the accuracy of the information. When you are keying that information in as part of your day-to-day -day activities of entering AP bills, it's automatically going to know when 
that affects your prepaid and when it needs to create that schedule. It's going to integrate not only with AP, but also with purchasing. So if you're using purchasing, it integrates with purchasing as well. The overall goal here is to make sure that we are helping you reduce or shorten that close time by producing those automatic journal entries. This is going to ensure that you get the proper period cut off, that you get the expenses in the right period. And then at the end of this, you're going to have the information that you need in those reports to place on a dashboard so that you have immediate access to the reports and the schedules with drill down to those transactions. I want to thank you for your time today. If you have other questions about prepaid or any other solution, please make sure and reach out to your SAGE Intact representative. Thank you.